in this video, we are cruising through even more Pico CTF 2022. In the last video, we just did some simple, hey, Googling research, trying to understand what that whole print nightmare vulnerability was in the CVE 2021 3.2 four, five, seven, whatever the number was. That's how we got the flag in the last video. Check out that video and some of the others if you haven't already and catch up to where we are now. But let's get after it. We are finally diving into something new, not strictly binary exploitation, not strictly cryptography, everything that we saw at the very top half of the board thus far. But we have forensics now. Uh, here's a challenge called Enhance. It says download this image file and find the flag. Looks like uh, there's a tag here for SVG, which is what, uh, the vector graphics format? We can download an image file and let's go ahead and do it. I'll make a directory for forensics because we are moving into a new category and let's make a directory for this challenge name, Enhance. Cool, W get to download this file here. And I'm gonna run file on this, as you know, this drawing.flag.svg. It is an SVG scalable vector graphics image. So you could very well open up like your file browser and I don't know, explore this thing. Sorry, I just realized, hey, I accidentally clicked on the trash and I was like, hey, do I have anything spooky, squirrely sensitive in there? No, I don't. Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> anyway, if you open this up, click on it, here is your drawing SVG. And can I just zoom in on this? Is this is this really what I'm doing right now? I, I'm just using my scroll wheel to enhance. Uh, but I don't see a flag in here. Am I supposed to? <laughs> There was another pixel, but it won't let me scroll in any further. Maybe this is just my image viewer. So I'm opening this in, what is it, Eye of Gnome? EOG? Yeah. And that is what I'm cruising on and I'm trying to enhance, but I can't get any further. Uh, there's no way, there's no way that that's the gimmick. I mean, I can open it in like GIMP or something. I don't have GIMP installed. Another image like manipulation program. Uh, so what could we do for more forensics on this, right? You could do something like EXIF tool. EXIF tool is one program that allows you to look at EXIF data or metadata for a program. Let's try that. Um, and this actually will display, hey, a lot of known information on the file name, file size, last mod time, et cetera, et cetera. ID, metadata ID, okay. No flag in that though. Um, could we use something like bin walk to try and carve things out? Or maybe honestly, stupid simple strings. Before we dive into file carving, let's see what's in this thing. Uh, so strings, by the way, is a command that will simply display printable strings that are found inside of a file. Like a binary file, like an image file, like a song. Those are all represented in bytes, right? Not readily printable English text and letters, but carving through strings will show all of those potential groupings of printable characters and text that you might be able to read and pull out. Uh, so again, if I just pass in strings uh, and give it the file name uh, as the parameter here as the argument, I'm gonna pipe this to less so I can scroll through it all. And now I can actually hey, use my arrow keys up and down to look through this. Looks like this was created with Inkscape. Nice, super cool. I'm not all that interested in all of this stuff, but it is an SVG format. So maybe there's things that I could determine how this is all rendered. The thing is with SVG is that it is scalable. You'd be able to, hey, actually get data and stuff out of it. Uh, there's nothing else in here. Okay. Am I missing some of the other bytes? If I use like hex edit, do I have hex editor? What is that? Oh gosh. Yeah, open that thing. <laughs> what am I looking at? I've never used this program in my life. I normally just use hex edit. I install it. But I don't see any semblance of a flag. I gotta be honest. So, I, mean, I, can, I can open it up in like text editor, but there's no Pico. I can't control F for Pico. If I control for the curly braces, I mean, oh, what the heck? Oh, do you see it? Do you see it, everybody? Look. And each of these sort of tab pen renditions here, whether it's a T-span or whatever, they have a P-I-C-O for Pico, C-T-F, and the opening and closing curly braces, just like this. Ooh. Okay, so let's try 
to carve some of that out. Uh, let's do some bash magic just for funsies. If I cat out this drawing, this file, you, we know that we can grep. So cat to get it out onto our centered output stream. And let's grep for the lines that contain the T-span closing uh, entity, right? Okay, so now we have all these values and it draws out Pico CTF right here. But it's all vertical in these different lines. So what could we do? We could, I suppose, uh, cut this based off of after the ending waka waka. I'm using tack D to specify a delimiter, uh, the greater than symbol here. And then if we want to grab a specific field, obviously with this as delimiter, this would be field one, like before it. And then this is the other delimiter. This would be the second one, right? So let's grab F2 for field two, and then let's cut it one more time to carve out this stuff. Remove the T-span. Let's cut now on the opening one and grab just F1. So we get the first part of this. Cool, there's our flag, but it's all on separate new lines. Um, can I take this output and then delete the new lines? I'm using TR for delete, with the tack D for deletion, of course. And there we go, we have all this displayed now, but it still has spaces in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and use TR yet again to delete all the spaces in that output. And now we have our flag, Pico CTF enhanced with some hexadecimal value there. Super cool, we just get a quick little one-liner. Let me redirect that to a flag.txt that we can save. And honestly, we could probably just copy this and save it as like our own get flag.sh script so we can keep track of our own solution or how we found that. We'll add a shebang line, right? Bin bash is the program that we wanna end up running that with. Sure, we can mark it as executable. And then we could always just run the get flag script and repeatedly retrieve that as needed. So that was that. That was how we could maybe find that flag tucked away, hidden inside of that scalable vector graphics shenanigan image file. And that was our forensics that we ended up doing. And then some bash magic to grep, retrieve only the lines that contain this string, cutting it through and maybe grab the portion that we cared about and then manipulating it to remove all that white space. Nice and easy, super cool. Let's go ahead and submit that flag. And uh, oh, I lost some of it there. Pico CTF enhanced, done. Another 100 points in that forensics category is out of the way for us, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. Hope you got to do some other cool stuff you might not have done before. If not, whatever, thanks for sticking with me. Hey, really appreciate you watching. If you like this video, please do those YouTube algorithm things. Like the video, comment, subscribe. All the stuff that helps the channel grow, you know the drill. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.